Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. On this day in history, silver prices collapse. This is a very interesting article from Benzinga.com. This day in market history, silver prices collapse as Hunt Brothers currency fails. Let's explore what happened on this day back in 1980. So what happened on March the 27th, 1980, the price of silver collapsed by 33% on a single day after the Hunt Brothers' plan to corner the global silver market had failed. So where the market was, the Dow finished the day at 759.98, 759.98. Can you imagine that? Now it's up 25,000. Um, uh, the S&P finished at 98.22, Dow was trading at 25,202.60, and the S&P 5000 is trading at 2,658.55. So that just kind of gives you an idea of kind of where the market is as opposed to where the, uh, the price of silver was, and, but the massive decline that happened afterwards. So what else was going on in the world at that time in 1980 on March, in March the 27th, late March, Beatle John Lennon was shot and killed in New York. I think that was in December. And Mount St. Helens erupted in Washington State, killing 57 people. The average annual income in the United States was 19,500. Wow. So that gives you an idea of where the dollar was too. We'll kind of explore that a little bit more further in this video. So what happened with this silver crash? Starting in 1979, Nelson and William Hunt, two of the world's wealthiest men, had been buying up every ounce of silver they could get their hands on in an effort to gain control of the global silver market. The plan was to launch a private currency, not unlike Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. That's interesting. That's what they really wanted to do, launch a private currency except the Hunt's currency would be backed by physical silver. Well, look at that. Look at there. Imagine that. And uh, prior to 1971, every U.S. dollar could be redeemed for its value in gold. But the U.S. went off the gold standard in 1971. The Hunt brothers wanted to create their own rival to the U.S. dollar that was backed by silver. An appealing idea for investors who were seeing double-digit depreciation in the value of the dollar throughout the 1970s due to inflation. And boy, was it bad that, during that time. The Hunt brothers eventually acquired roughly half the global supply of silver. Half of the global supply. That's just astounding to think about. Uh, that could never happen today, I don't believe. I know some people think that J.P. Morgan... Uh, you know, probably could, has more than that, accumulated more, uh, but uh, it's not all of their silver, even if they're the, uh, the um, custodian of that silver. The surge in silver prices they created resulted in a flood of new supply through the market. Uh, when the price of silver started to drop, the hunts were forced to liquidate their holdings, and the entire plan collapsed along with the price of silver. And so what happened? On March the 27th, in one single day, a silver lost a third of its value, plummeting from $16.25 to $10.85. Now, people are thinking, well, what? I thought it got up to almost 50 bucks. It did. It started its decline. But on that very day, and today's anniversary of that day, uh, it had lost 33% of its value. So that's a very interesting indeed. That's a... That is quite a time in history. Can you imagine if silver lost 33% of its value right now? But keep in mind, there's a lot of stuff that plays, in, and I don't think that could ever happen again, where any one person uh, or two people could corner the market on silver or get that much of it, not even a third of it, in my opinion, especially considering there's a lot more silver out there and it's uh, distributed and much differently now than it was back then. Uh, very interesting indeed. So let's take a look here. And if we look at the inflation rate, the U.S. inflation through this inflation calculator, the high that silver did get to was $49.45 in 1980. That was the high. 
And if silver was priced in $1980, if something like that were to happen again, which uh, it you can say with almost a certain amount of uh, uh, you know a, a high level of certainty that it will never happen again like it did. There's a, it, the metrics aren't there, the the logistics aren't in place uh, where they were back then for it to occur. But if it were to happen and the prices were to get that high, that'd be equivalent to 151 dollars and 70 cents today. So if you're looking at the the Bureau of Labor Statistics Consumer Price Index, prices in 2019 are 206.77% higher than the average prices throughout 1980. Now keep in mind that part of the catalyst for the Hunt brothers doing what they did was because of high inflation. And you look and see how inflation per year um, from that time to now are has crazy. It's it's up. 206.77%. The dollar experienced an average inflation rate of 2.92% per year during this period. And that's after the 70s when it was much higher. Um, and really the average is about 2%. So it's still higher than, than usual. In other words, $49.45 in 1980 is equivalent in purchasing power to $151.70 in 2019, a difference of $102.25 over 39 years. The 1980 inflation rate was at 13.5%. The current inflation rate, 2018 to 2019, is now 1.52% under the average, which is about <coughs> 2%. And um, if this number holds, $49.45 today will be equivalent to $50.20 next year. The current inflation rate page gives more details and it tells you. So there you go. So you can see that every year, if you just hold cash, especially considering if you hold it in a savings account, if you hold cash and most savings accounts for the banks give less than 1%, you're essentially losing money. Um, and by the way, I'm not saying to not have an emergency fund in a, in a savings account. Um, I'm not saying that at all, but just keep that in perspective. And that's another reason why that is part of your savings. Precious metals, I believe, should be a way to go to protect yourself, um, even with the volatility of the prices therein. Uh, let's take a look back and what silver was in 1979. Um, uh, it was $6 an ounce. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this. And let's calculate that and see what the metrics are for that in 1979. So, <clears throat> 1979, uh, $6 in 1979 would be equal to about $20.89 in 2019. Now, keep in mind that that was probably a pretty high price back then because I remember when it was $5 and, and um, $4 in the, in the 90s and in the, in the 2000s. So that was probably considered high back then, and but it's equivalent to twenty dollars a day. Twenty dollars silver, twenty one dollars silver. Uh, we all remember when it was twenty one dollars. Um, it wasn't that long ago when it was twenty one dollars an ounce. And keep in mind that even though some of the videos <clears throat> I've talked about silver and silver hype and the like and <clears throat> where the prices are, I do believe it is undervalued. I think that anything under twenty dollars is a pretty good buy for silver. Even when it's even with its dual role. <clears throat> so according to Bureau of Labor Statistics, 2019 prices are 248.18% higher than the average prices throughout 1979. The dollar experienced an average inflation rate of 3.17% uh, per year during this period. So that's the average for that period. But in other words, $6 in 1979 is equivalent to about $20.89 in 2019, a difference of $14.89 over 40 years. Well, that's where a price, that's about a price of per ounce of silver not that long ago either. It was $14 and high 14s. The 1979 inflation rate was 11.35%. Think of that. Wow. So I think that $6 is kind of reflecting that inflation rate. And of course, it talks again about the current inflation rate. So if we look at $6 today, next year, it's probably going to be six, worth about $6.09. <coughs> will be equivalent to $6.09 the next year. 
So just some things to consider. Very interesting to kind of look back in history and see things were at where they were at with the price of uh, silver and what happened with the Hunt brothers. Fascinating indeed. So we saw that huge drop today in history. So post your thoughts below. Thought this was pretty interesting. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>